Welcome back to Tell Em Tuesday. Have you ever heard of Star 67? Well, Star 67 is a button that you press after you get a call of people hanging up or somebody calling don't say anything or somebody just calling with bad behavior. You can press Star 67 and what that does is that a lot of phone companies to trace and track the call. When it's over about, I think, five times, they will reach out to that person let them know that if they do not stop harassing you in such a manner, their phone will be getting turned off. Also, what it does is allow you to, if you ever have to go to court, have a track record of those calls that came in um, that was annoying and or threatening or whatever it may be. But also know, with Star 67, sometimes there is a dollar charge per time you do it. Also, it could be, I think it's five times, and then it's a charge. I'm not sure which one it is, but check with your check with your um, um, phone company on that. But that's a good tip to have because we can always block the call, but it's better to get it traced because that way if things get out of hand, you got this other thing already in place that you can do to take, you know, deal with something, to deal with it in a better way. Thank you, Kylie. All right. The next thing, judge versus judgment. Just being judgmental. Well, you know, a lot of people say, don't judge me. God said, don't judge. Well, God does say, judge, or at least he shall be judged. But he also states that, um, um, judge the spirit by the spirit. And what he's trying to tell us is that we not be carnal or um, of the flesh when we are assessing something. So what happens is, just say, for instance, if we kind we I don't drink, but just say we hung out and I was the kind of person giving the drinks and... Um, and always get rowdy and always start to cause fights. Well, if you say, you know what, dang, I want to go out, but when she goes out, she drinks, and then, you know, she gets a little out of hand. I don't think I, I want to be bothered because I don't want anything to happen. I don't want to be in no fights or nothing. I think I better stay home. That's a good assessment of a judgment that you should have. But if you say, um, oh, she, she ain't nothing but a drunk child. Oh, I ain't going out with her. She a drunk. That's being judgmental. See, it's, it's a difference. So God wants us to assess people, places, and things in order to make sure we stay safe and protect ourselves, but we are just not to be judgmental. All right. The next thing, um, on the hotel, hotel taxes. Did you know that if you stay at a hotel for 30 days or longer, they are required to give you your taxes back? Check your state because most states, you have to give those taxes back. After 30 days, it's normally the state taxes drop off and they credit it back. The next part is the local tax, which normally is the most money. And sometimes you might have to send something to the county to get the money back. And sometimes you can get it straight from the hotel, depending on what hotel brand it is. Also know when you get your receipt for your room, also also ask for a folio because a lot of times they'll act like they crediting you something when they didn't. They'll add another fee on and it look like it'll pull it down. Look like they gave you the credit when they didn't. But a folio is something good to have for your overall records. 